Hey everybody, it's Lisa from Shabby Road Studio, and as you can see, we have a bunch of items um, in our video today. What are we going to do with these? Well, I'm going to tell you. I just gathered up a bunch of my odds and ends that I felt would go with this project. We're going to set those aside. I'm going to tell you about the, the base uh, piece that we're going to be working with. This is the main character. It is a huge... And I mean huge, XXL Eddie Bauer green shirt. It's kind of like a canvasy type fabric. I don't know, it's 100% cotton. It is um, a nice big palette to work with. So I'm going to attempt, and I like to say attempt because sometimes things don't always work out. And so I'm going to attempt to make a long duster from this and some of the other items. So first things first, I want to get rid of the collar. So we're going to unbutton this guy a little bit so I can. I'm going to cut the collar off right above that seam. Right above that seam so that it's... Nice, it's a nice finished edge. I just picked up this uh, Eddie Bauer shirt at a yard sale yesterday. I oh, I think I paid like three bucks for it. Initially, I did buy it for uh, resale on eBay, but I didn't really look it up when I bought it. I looked it up at home and I don't really see a lot of value for this on its own. So when I when I find that, um, like when I look things up that I have purchased and I don't think I can get much, as much as I thought maybe on eBay, I will just do something else with it because I don't like to throw stuff away. And this was a pretty cool big shirt Eddie Bauer, good quality. Um, so we're going to now, I'm taking off the sleeve. Let's just take them off where we would normally because I am going to be cutting up. We're gonna cut out this, this armhole a little bit more, but let's just get the arms off first because we'll use those in another project. Maybe this project, I don't know, but I always save every bit and piece you um, dissect from these because you may need them for something. So I'm just going to finish cutting off both sleeves and I'll be back. Okay, both sleeves are off. I want to take off these little buttons here. So I'm just going to take a seam ripper and cut the thread on these and pop them off. I don't know where that one went. We don't need those little things. There we go. Now we're gonna straighten out the shirt. up so that I can be more precise. What I want to do now is come up here, measure over a certain amount, and then come down to that, the armhole, just underneath the armhole, just to take off a lot of that. Let me see, what did I do with my chalk? Okay, so I'm gonna measure four inches over from the base of the collar and make a mark. And then, kind of freehanding, not so much of a curve. Let's 
try that. I'm just going to flip this over yep. and just kind of roughly sketch the other piece over here. Again, this is upcycling, it's not perfection. It is just working with what you have and those ideas in your head. If your head's anything like mine, there's so many ideas bouncing around, it's scary. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try this on the mannequin and see what I want to do next. Okay, so I put this on the mannequin inside out and then I found out where, I hope you can see this, um, I found how much farther over I wanted to take this. And it's approximately four and a quarter inches this way, either side. So I'm going to draw a line. a rough straight edge up to that pin and down and then I'm just gonna cut that I'm just I'm just gonna cut where that's at save that piece And I'll probably just put some pins in the side seam so that I can take it over. When I'm done, I can take it over to the sewing machine and sew it back up. I'm gonna cut up this side. Was, um, a need or a want to add something in the sides for like this shirt is super big so I'm taking it down if you had a shirt and you wanted to expand it that would be a good place to stick some funky fabric in uh, right now this is um, I don't need to because I just took the size down a little bit it was it's a it's a man's XXL, so you know it's it's pretty it's pretty large. And um, even though I said I like to make my things larger, I, this will be a good sized duster when I'm done. Okay, just like that, I had a change of plan. Um, rather than to sew up those side seams on the shirt. I did realize when I stuck it on the mannequin again that it was going to be a little bit too straight for me. So I'm taking those arms, the sleeves, and I am, I cut one out so you could see. It's right here. I'm just taking a section of the sleeve that's open. I want to add that into the sides. It's going to give a little extra interest on the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this one out to match and then I'm gonna sew those in to the sides.
so I have sewn in those panels in the sides and I like the way it added the the more of a drapey shape to it than straight um, I did have to take it in a little bit there's gonna be a lot of arm armhole space but um, this is meant to be like worn over something else so you'd wear this over a t-shirt or even a long sleeve shirt but it's definitely meant to be like a duster um, worn over something you could wear it over a tank top but um, the armholes are definitely going to be too big to wear this you know unless you want to that's up to you but yeah so now uh, let's see so on the bottom where those come there's this open kind of open area on the front I'm gonna add some kind of fabric along here um, just like from from here to here in that square or rectangle and then the same over here so that'll look cute okay so what I've done is I've just taken some of our floral canvasy type fabric and just sewed a couple of strips just uneven just added some strips to the front to bring down the the level of the shirt the duster um, it's just uneven that's the way it's meant to be it's not finished yet but we do zigzag just kind of artsy stitching um, it all adds to the um, well if you're new to upcycled clothing um, it's just meant to look artsy like a, a piece of wearable art so it's it's that's why it maybe looks different than if you just took a pattern and cut out precise perfect pieces and sewed them perfectly together this is meant to be this way raw edges this one has a seam i used the seam on that one i used raw edge over here zigzag i chose dark uh, i chose black thread because um that's what i thought would go best with the colors that we have involved here so yeah it's just an artsy uh, duster and we're just working there's no plan i don't know what i'm going to do next um but we're going to find out so next i'm going to take this old jean jacket here um i want i want this piece right here so i just want this front piece i'm going to just cut it right off this jacket uh yeah so i'm just going to cut it close to the seam I don't know how much I want of it yet. I'm going to go up and around. And then down the front of the collar. There. That's the part I want. Okay, so I've taken that piece of this jean jacket that we cut off and I have pinned it on to the front of my duster. So I'm just going to sew around. I think I'm going to sew on this side of the these buttons because under here are the button holes in case somebody wants to, you know, button it closed. Um, so we'll just sew Probably sew across here, but then down here. I'll leave, I'll sew here, but I'll leave this open underneath. I'm not sure at this point if I'm going to do a straight stitch or a zigzag. I'll decide. Oh, this has a cute little pocket. So I've sewn this on. I did go down with, with a straight stitch here, so this can open up. I went around and then all the way around this with the zigzag. This is open and I think it looks really cute. Okay, so I cut this pocket out of an old pair of jeans and I want to come across right here. I want to cut this under part off. I 
just want this part. Cut this off right there. Always save that part. So I'm going to take this jean pocket that I cut off some jeans. I pinned it here. I pinned a little patch under it. So I'm going to go sew this on and I'll be back. Okay, so that is all sewed on. It's looking really cute, you guys. So this is just a, a pocket. There's a little patch that matches the um, complementary fabric that I chose. Okay, guys, so I took... Um, some of this gray star fabric that I wanted to use. And I just pinned a piece right here. It had that perfect curve on the fabric. So I pinned it on. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna zigzag around this and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I sewed all around that uh, with a zigzag and it just, it turned out really nice. It's, it just fits perfectly in that spot. So, Okay, so I took the back of the shirt, um, I took paper and traced this area, roughly. And then I cut out a piece from this fabric. And I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna stitch that on right there with a fun stitch. And I'll see you when I'm done. All right, back from the sewing machine. Uh, I sewed that on. That this yoke piece sewed that on with zigzag looks really cute, really, cute. really, really cute. Okay, so I took the collar that we cut off, and I thought, what a fun little addition it would be to sew it next to this button um, side with the buttons. I sewed a little, a um, couple little patches on it first, and now I'm just gonna sew it right up the side and leave it flappy. So a little extra on this side and I'll be back. Right, it's sewn on, just cute and quirky. Just a little flap there, gives it some more interest, a more artsy look. Um, let's see, what else can we do to this? Okay. Um, so looking at this, I had this pocket that I had in my stash from a pair of jeans and I want to put that on this middle panel just for some interest, some more uh, quirkiness. So I'm going to sew, I left fabric around the pocket because this is so thick in spots it's really hard to sew the pocket by itself. So I, I'm going to sew all around it and it will be a, still a pocket. Um, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back from the sewing machine. I have stitched around this piece, holding this pocket in place. It's a nice pocket now. Um, and yeah, it looks it looks pretty cute. zigzag around that, so it matches everything. Um, I'm still just just figuring out this piece. I do. I love this star fabric. I wanted to incorporate more into this this duster, but I don't know where yet. So I had a thought. I took the collar off from the jean jacket that we were using. I just cut that off. And I had this thought of trying to sew it on to this. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty thick, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'd like to try it and then if it works, yeah, it might look kind of cute. If it doesn't, I'll just rip it off and we'll leave it. But I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, that worked. I mean, it was tricky because it was so thick. I thought I was gonna break a needle, but um, it didn't. And I think it looks really cute with the jean collar on. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, let's see what else I can find. Okay, so I went to my stash to find some doilies and I pinned one on here. I pinned one right here. I'm just gonna sew across this and let this flop over. Um, here's another one I'm gonna also just sew across under here and that will fold 
over like that. Um, there's a couple on the back. I'm gonna go sew those on. Um, and I'll be back to show you how it turned out. Okay, so I am finished sewing around all the doilies. Like I said, I sewed this just across there so it can flop over like that. Same here. And sewed around these big ones. Uh, let's see, where's the other one? There's one here, and then there's one here. Right now, I'm going to um, probably zigzag the whole bottom hem across, and then I know you're going to freak out, but we are going to dye this whole garment in brown. It's not going to be like, I'm not going for a dark brown, but what I'm going for is that kind of uh, vintage look, like a tea dyed look. So it's just gonna be in the brown um, in the washer long enough to give everything that kind of a vintage vibe. And hopefully all these doilies are made with cotton and everything will, it'll just take on a new, a new life. I like the colors that I used, but I do like to use the dye to kind of bring a cohesive look to everything. So, um, like I said, I'm going to sew around the hem and then I'll probably stick this in the dye in the wash unless I decide to sew anything else on beforehand. But yeah, it's looking really cute. It's going to be a fun, fun piece of clothing for somebody. So I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so I have zigzagged along the bottom hem. I zigzagged around the armholes and I added a cute artsy patch. I added another patch of the green shirt first and then some of the stars and then some of the florals. So that just breaks up that big piece in the back. And now it's going in to the brown dye. I'll see you when it's done. Okay, everybody, I'm finished. I um, got this out of the washing machine after dyeing it. I dried her and this is what we ended up with. Again, I'm sorry for the uh, light in here. It's very dark today, it's raining and I don't, I don't really like to be in the videos, so I'm trying this new approach by just taking a video and holding the camera. I will turn it around so you can see the back. Okay, that is the back. It, I think it looks great, it, but to me, um, it turned out just like I wanted it. With the brown dye, it gave it that vintage grungy look. And that's what I was going for. It muted down all the, like the bright green, it muted down all of that. And obviously now the doilies are brown instead of white, which is perfect because everything is um, more cohesive and is uh, grungy and vintage looking. Just a really grungy boho uh, piece of, uh, clothing now. We're going to get up a little closer. Look how cool that old grungy denim jacket looks. And then you have your pocket, the patch. I love this collar part that I added on just for some quirkiness. It just gives the uh, collar a purpose now. <laughs> and yeah, so I like it. And I could see this over a t-shirt with some leggings. Um, just when it's, you know, you want something a little warmer on, but not a coat or a jacket. These dusters are um, 
perfect for that. So thanks for hanging out again. Sorry about the earlier videos. I, I in editing them, saw that they were not all in frame. It's really something I'm working on, so just bear with me. I appreciate your patience. Um, it's a little different, like I said, it's a little different working with, um, well, what happens is the, I'm, I use my phone to film on, and if I stop the video to sew something, if I don't get back to it, my um, phone goes black, and I have to take it out of the holder and open up the camera app again, and then I may not get it in the proper placement to start filming again, and then I start it thinking I am, and so just um, be patient with me. I'm trying to get this right. Um, so thanks for hanging out again for another upcycling video. I will probably throw this in my Etsy store if anybody's interested, and it would f definitely fit anywhere from, I mean, it would be kind of big on a medium, but it would go and go up to an extra large, extra, extra large. It's, it's a great little piece of um, clothing. So thanks, guys. See you on the next video. Bye.